we finally learn the truth about how Nick Fury lost an eye in Captain Marvel, but some fans are still having trouble accepting it as a cold hard fact. After all, this is Nick Fury we're talking about here. He's not one to show his cards, but whatever you choose to believe, he definitely lost an eye, and even though he could have restored it, he decided against it, and we'll tell you the real reason why he made that decision. If you haven't seen Captain Marvel yet, what the heck are you waiting for? Get a ticket and go see it right now before we spoil a crucial moment for you. If you're one of the millions who did see the movie, though, you can sit back and relax. Here at CBR, we were all expecting to learn how Nick Fury lost his eye in the movie, and we were so happy when we finally learned how it happened. We thought it had something to do with Carol Danvers herself, because back in Captain America the Winter Soldier, Fury reveals that he lost an eye the last time he trusted someone. We figured that someone was Captain Marvel, but we were wrong. Then in the movie, we were teased about Nick's eye early on when a car crash left him with a battered eyebrow. But near the end of the film, we finally got our answer. We all know Captain Marvel's cat Goose isn't actually a cat, but a flurkin. A what? A race of really creepy aliens with too many tentacles to count. After being held up by Nick Fury from her armpits without anyone supporting her butt or back legs, Goose decided enough was enough and lashed out by scratching Nick Fury across his left eye. It didn't look too serious at first, but once we saw him sporting an eye patch later in the film, we knew it was much worse than we thought. It was a little underwhelming that a scratch from an alien cat hybrid is what caused Nick Fury to lose an eye, which is why many fans still don't buy it. Many fans think Nick Fury is still lying to us about the truth, but that's a theory for another time. What we're most concerned about is why Nick Fury hasn't done anything to fix his eye. We know there are ample options out there for restoring Fury's eye. Just look at Bucky Barnes, the Winter Soldier, the White Wolf, Steve Rogers' bestie. He has a prosthetic arm that seems to be working just fine. When Hydra created the arm, it was made of titanium. But after science says Shuri was done with it, it was made out of the toughest metal on Earth, vibranium, which can be found in bunches in the great African nation of Wakanda. Seeing as Shuri was able to replicate Bucky's arm using advanced Wakandan technology, technology, we have no doubt that she would have been able to replicate an eyeball. Yes, an eye is a much more complicated body part than an arm, but if Shuri is as smart as she says she is, then she could easily make a vibranium eye, we have no doubt. Sure, Nick Fury will probably never get his original one back, but as long as he gets a new one that works, he'd take it, right? Wrong. Even when Coulson brings him some replacement options at the end of Captain Marvel, Fury straight up rejects them all. So what gives? This all got Redditor Colin AW97 and us thinking about why Nick Fury would reject a new eye. We could just assume that Nick Fury likes the all-natural look, but we don't think it's that. Is it possible that he could have rejected these options as a defense mechanism to prevent himself from being simmed by a Skrull? Nick Fury is a pretty knowledgeable guy. In fact, he might actually be too knowledgeable, seemingly knowing what events will happen in the future before anyone else. He started the Avengers Initiative to protect the Earth from an alien invasion, and in the first Avengers movie, that's exactly what happened. In Captain Marvel, Nick Fury learned all about the Skrulls and their shape-shifting ways. If you remember, Remember, Talos said that he has to see something to sim it, to the point of a DNA match. The key word being see. If Nick Fury's eye is always behind an eye patch, a Skrull can't truly see it, can they? That means a Skrull won't be able to get the true DNA match on Nick Fury's eye. Now we know, you're probably saying that makes sense and all, but how will anyone be able to tell which dead eye is the real one? Well, if you remember the keep both eyes open scene in Captain America the Winter Soldier, we got to see Nick Fury's dead eye, and he used it as a backup security clearance. This means that the actual appearance of his dead eye is only available to him and S.H.I.E.L.D.'s backup security parameters. If a scroll simmed Nick Fury, they wouldn't be able to pass through these security measures and they'd be compromised, ruining their espionage mission. What's the point in simming a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent if you can't get access to confidential information about the organization? The Skrulls being good guys in Captain Marvel is one heck of a plot twist, considering the way they act in the comics. With Kevin Feige recently hinting at the Secret Invasion storyline possibly being introduced in the MCU in Phase 4, it's possible that Nick Fury is refusing to get a new eye to prevent his Skrull from assuming his identity. That's the reason why he keeps the eye patch on at all times. Of course, a Skrull could get a hold of Nick Fury, remove his eye patch, and sim the dead eye. But one does not simply get a hold of Nick Fury. If a Skrull spy got a hold of the information about Avengers and S.H.I.E.L.D. at his disposal, it could really shake things up in the MCU and turn the good guy Skrulls into a real threat. Nick Fury has been trying to protect the Earth from an alien invasion since before the Avengers were even formed, so it makes sense that he's doing everything he can to keep Earth safe from two of those intergalactic threats in the Skrull and the Kree, even if it means doing things with only one eye open.
And that's the truth about Nick Fury's eye. Do you agree with our theory? Do you think Goose is responsible for Nick Fury's dead eye? Oh, what a cute kitty, oh, it's Goosey Goose. Do you think Nick Fury is somehow already a Skrull? Let us know in the comments section below, and don't forget to subscribe to CBR for more MCU videos. Thanks for watching.